There's an interesting picture on the moon that does appear to show something that could be a bridge, maybe a pipe, could be an inching worm. Is it important that the United States has eyes on what the Chinese are doing on the far side of the moon? The moon, a steadfast celestial companion to Earth, remains shrouded in mystery. Despite its proximity, this natural satellite of ours continues to hold numerous secrets, beckoning us to unravel its enigmatic nature. Recent technological leaps have started to peel back the veil, shedding light on the moon's enigmas. Notably, these advances have unveiled the first tangible images hinting at potential lunar inhabitants, leading to a surge of curiosity about the moon's inhabitants and their way of life. As we delve into the unfolding narrative of these discoveries, the remarkable means by which we unearthed these truths will come into focus. Join us as we divulge the latest revelations emerging from the hitherto unexplored side of the moon. A less known facet of lunar behavior is that only one side perpetually faces Earth, a fascinating phenomenon rooted in the concept of tidal locking. Imagine a cosmic ballet between Earth and the moon, an intricate dance choreographed over billions of years. This dance, a synchrony of gravitational forces, has culminated in a breathtaking display. The moon presents the same face to Earth in perpetuity. However, this captivating phenomenon was not always the case. The moon once exhibited a more dynamic spin on its axis during its youth. Yet, Earth's gravitational forces acted as a sculptor, inducing bulges on the Moon's surface during its rotation. These lunar bulges strained to align with Earth, yet due to the Moon's initial pace, they lagged slightly behind. This disparity created tidal torques, gradually decelerating the Moon's spin. Over epochs, Earth's gravitational influence acted as a cosmic break, slowing the Moon's rotation until its period of rotation matched its period of orbit. This wondrous synchronization, referred to as tidal locking, is the dance's remarkable culmination. Resulting from this cosmic ballet, Earth gazes upon the Moon's near side, while the far side, often dubbed the dark side, remains veiled. Remarkably, humanity's first glimpse of the Moon's concealed face materialized as recently as 1959. Hi. marking a monumental stride in our quest to understand the cosmos. Could this locking of the Moon's visage in a perpetual embrace with Earth's gaze suggest an eternal stasis? The answer lies in the gradual separation of the Moon from Earth, a gradual retreat attributed to the same forces responsible for tidal locking. Each year, the Moon inches away from Earth by approximately 3.8 centimeters, an unending journey initiated by the intricate cosmic ballet. While this celestial motion might herald future cosmic rearrangements for the foreseeable future, the Moon's familiar countenance shall continue to grace our nightly skies. This captivating revelation of the Moon's dance with Earth finds a counterpart in our home planet. Earth, too, succumbs to the Moon's gravitational forces, a phenomenon gradually lengthening our planet's day. As the Moon's influence tugs at Earth's rotation, our planet's spin endures a gradual deceleration. Over time, frames inconceivable to the human mind, Earth might eventually find itself in a celestial waltz, mirroring the Moon's elegant embrace. Yet amid these cosmic revelations, a compelling mystery looms, one that beckons us into the shadows of the unknown. When did humanity truly set eyes upon the lunar enigma that is the dark side of the Moon? The spotlight shines on Michael Collins, the command module pilot of the Apollo 11 mission. This historic endeavor, boasting names etched into the annals of space exploration, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins ushered in a new era. And counting, we are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Collins, the lone astronaut orbiting the moon in the command module Columbia, played a vital role. As his fellow explorers ventured to the moon's surface, Collins piloted the module and maintained the lifeline to Earth. His instrumental role ensured the safe return of his colleagues, an intricate cosmic choreography between spacecraft and lunar terrain. In orbit, Collins embarked on a solitary journey, the first human to gaze upon the moon's hidden visage. Columbia's trajectory allowed Collins to experience moments of radio silence, 
distance, each passage behind the moon's horizon cutting his connection to Earth. During these intervals of solitude, Collins stood alone, the only human to witness the hidden mysteries of the moon's far side. As Collins navigated these cosmic solitary moments, an alien landscape unveiled itself before him. Craters, mountains, valleys, and plains that had long escaped humanity's gaze. Bright stars, unobscured by Earth's atmosphere, sparkled against the lunar night. Collins's vantage point granted him a view of the South Pole Aitken Basin, the moon's largest impact crater stretching across a significant portion of the dark side. In these solitary orbits, Collins marveled at the stark beauty of the dark side's untouched terrain, a tableau untouched by human footsteps. His sketches, notes, photographs, and recordings captured the essence of his experience, a treasure trove for scientists and dreamers alike. Yet, shadows cast their uncertainty upon this journey. Whispers persist of a narrative untold, one that hints at UFO sightings during the historic lunar landing. Insiders such as Otto Binder and Maurice Chatelain claim that the skies above the moon held enigmatic visitors, their presence obscured from public view. These tantalizing accounts stir both intrigue and skepticism. However, amidst these debates, the allure of cosmic exploration remains unwavering. Armstrong himself did denied these claims, leaving a trail of questions in his wake. The story of the moon's mysteries, interwoven with humanity's quest for understanding, continues to captivate our imaginations. Parallel to these tales of lunar discovery lies another, a narrative spun by Donna Hare, a former NASA contractor. Her account reverberates with revelations of airbrushed lunar photographs hinting at hidden structures. Hare's role within the NASA apparatus as a technical illustrator and draftsman at the Johnson Space Center in the early 1970s positioned her at the intersection of art and science. A colleague's revelation thrust Hare into a world of intrigue. An aerial photograph of Earth revealed a shadow cast over the water, a shadow attributed to a UFO. More astonishingly, Hare's colleague confessed to airbrushing these anomalies out of photographs prior to their release. Hare's testimony resonated deeply within the realm of conspiracy theories. Lunar photographs, she claimed, bore evidence of structures akin to buildings and machinery, a hint at extraterrestrial influence. Yet, skeptics countered her claims, attributing these formations to geological quirks, shadows, or photographic artifacts. The moon, they asserted, boasts a landscape rich in natural wonders that can beguile the untrained eye. However, Hare's narrative transcended mere whispers. Her revelations, shared during the Disclosure Project of 2001, found a platform for her story. Dr. Stephen Greer's initiative aimed to shed light on government secrecy and its intersections with the enigmatic realm of unidentified aerial phenomena. 